Alrighty, this is a uh, an older style uh, Bulldog Breaker box. They have a bolt-on type of a screw you put through this, and it'll screw into the live bus bar, which is here. And on this side, you'll see two little hooks that will hook into the side over here. And uh, these hooks just set into these two little slots down in here. And I'll bring the camera down and show you. That's where the hook slides in right there. And that is the bus bar that the uh, breakers bolt into. Okay, so we're going to hook up a 120 volt circuit with number 12 American wire gauge. Here in the country I was born in, we use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Black is live, white is neutral, the bare or the green is the ground. Red and blue are also live colors. However, you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220, 240 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. So we'll go ahead and put this, I'll show you how to put the breaker into the box. So we take the bolt-on screw, flathead screwdriver, we will take and we will put our breaker into the box. I'm going to move this over just to here. See that, where that little hook lines up into the box? Take our flathead screw, and you tighten that to the live bus bar. Now we will take our ground wire, and we will run it up. This is a main panel, so we're going to push this ground wire down to our bottom, bring it up, bring it over, and we'll bring it down over here. And we will put it in the ground, the neutral ground bar, and put it through like that. And tighten it up. So that is how to hook the ground to the ground neutral bar. We'll do the same with our white wire, push it down to our corner, bring it over, and we'll bring it down. And we'll go into a screw down here. It doesn't matter. This is a main box. So we will uh, strip some of our number 12 insulation off. Put our wire through the uh, terminal here. Make sure our copper comes down through the terminal here. Tighten it up. Now just look, make sure our copper comes down through the hole. And this is a 20 amp breaker. We'll have that other screw here on the top of the breaker. So we'll hook our uh, number 12 copper to that. So we'll go down to our side here. We'll come up. We'll bend it over where we're going to go into the breaker here. And we'll cut it and slip it right here. Okay, we just stick our wire under our screw the way it's supposed to go. Make sure we don't get in there too far. And we'll tighten it up really tight, get our wire straight into the breaker the way we want it. Now next, now we have a multi, this is a, I'll show you this will be a, this can be a, a multi-wire branch circuit with a neutral. And uh, that would have to be on opposite legs of the 240, so we'll put one here, the red here and the black here, or the black here and the red here, and the white will go up on the neutral bar. So we'll put our white up on the neutral bar here. We'll see how far we can go, turn it down, bring it 
Uh, I don't like stranded wire because you can't shape the wires into the box the way you want them. This is a multi-wire branch circuit, and we'll put our white wire, uh, bring our white wire through the hole here, make sure our copper comes down through the hole. I'll loosen our screw up here, make sure all our strands come down through the hole like that, make sure we don't get the insulation pinched. Back up here. Now this is where the uh, M the BX cable here is being used as a ground. So we'll put. They have to be on opposite legs of the 240. So. I'll strip a little off our black. Strip a little off of our red. Not too much, we don't have too much copper showing. And I'll twist our strands together here. Okay, so we'll put our red on this one over here, get our wires in, get them under the terminal the way they want them. And we'll bring our black up over here, and we'll go on to this one. Well, we're missing a screw on this side, so we can put them down here on this one. Or we could even put it down here on this 20 amp over here. So let's move them down to this 20 amp down here. So we'll put one in this terminal. I like these terminals better for stranded, so we'll put one here. And we'll take the other one off of this up here, just so that they're across from each other. And we'll put it in this one. This is a better terminal connection for the uh, stranded wires, so I'll put it down here. If that one wasn't missing a screw, it's best. That would be for cosmetic reasons. I want them to have it across from, from other, each other. So there's our uh, multi-wire branch circuit hooked up into the uh, uh, panel here. So now we will hook up a 220, 240 volt circuit, or 220, 240 volt circuit. And this is a double pole breaker with a tie between the two. So you know it's a 220, 240. Okay, so this is our uh, 220, 240 volt circuit. So we'll bring our ground wire down to the bottom. We'll get it behind our other wire here. We'll push it over as far as we can because it's a little bit shorter. So we're going to push it down, bring it over, and go in. We'll go in on this top and up here. Make sure the layer goes down through the hole all the way. Okay, now this is the uh, double pole breaker here. So we will take and it doesn't matter which one we put over there, so we'll come down, come up, and it'll go all the way over to the side here, come up, come over, and we'll cut it right here. So 
See the tie between here? That's your double pole, and that's for your 220-240 volt circuit. So we'll stick our wire under our screw, and we'll tighten it up. There you go. That's what we want. Now we'll get our, uh, put this wire back in so it's out of our way. Now we'll take our white wire, bend it down, we'll go behind this black wire over here, we'll push it down to our corner. See how it's easier to get this solid wire to go neater inside the box? We'll bring our white wire down, clip it, strip it. This is a 20 amp double pole breaker, and this could be for like an air conditioner. So that is how to wire a 220, 240 volt circuit into a uh, older uh, Pushmatic Bulldog panel box. And I'll show you the tag up here. This is the, um, the multi-wire branch circuit, the red and the black are two separate circuits on opposite legs of the 240. And they share the same white neutral here in the conduit, the MC cable is the ground. This is a, uh, 20 amp branch circuit and our ground and our white are up here on the neutral bar and this is our 220 240 volt circuit black and white with the tie here and that would be like for an air conditioner where it does not require a neutral and our ground wire of course comes up to our neutral bar. Alrighty, that is how to wire the older style uh, Bulldog Pushmatic uh, breaker panels here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching. These panels were quite popular in the 50s and 60s.